When the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, found out we were no longer facing 30 armed escorts, but an entire army, he called for Shura, the council of his people. I guess I'm the last to speak. Whatever you choose, we will do. Then the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Go forward full of faith, for God has promised either the caravan or victory on the battlefield. to me and above all help me find Belal. the battle began according to tradition hamza took up his sword and called two to join him Obaida. ali Lahab, you've returned. I've paid my debt. One last thing you should know. God fights on the side of your nephew. Help me. No one will help me. Please. Get another chance. That's not the point. We lost our first chance. Now they think God fights on their side. 
Mark my words. It will be near impossible to bring him down. He's only a man. No, you're only a man. His kind comes around but once. As the gods are my witness, every scrap of this gold will be used against him. We'll buy up weapons and horses. I will show Muhammad whose power is greater. Mecca has raised an army of 3,000, and they are coming. We are only 700. After consultation, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, declared, we will meet the approaching enemy at the mountain of Uhud. We are ready, messenger of God. The prophet says you must not leave this hill, whether we're winning or losing. You must not let them attack from the rear. Dead. I saw him fall myself. Hear me! The day is in return for better. Today our gods have won. Our dead are in paradise. Yours are in hellfire. Believe what you wish. So long as Muhammad is dead. Muhammad lives! And let him live! For every one of our men who died today, we have killed four of yours. Muhammad lives. <laughs> <laughs> 